So here's the story. I was lucky enough to be hired to do the first Clinton inauguration. Quin Quincy Jones was producing it and asked me to do it. And there were a lot of celebrities on the show, as opposed to this last one. And um, there was a classical element, so Kathleen was going to be on it. And I didn't want to put Kathleen by herself because it was, you know, a very commercial audience. And anyway, we thought we'd put her with um, uh, Kenny G. And the two of them would do a duet. It was a very, very difficult rehearsal project process in the tent trying to do it. She wasn't really generous to me. She wasn't really generous to Kenny. However, they got on stage and what I said I would deliver, delivered in terms of she stopped the show. She and Kenny were incredible. She was holding a note for three minutes. Kenny was holding a note for three minutes and literally two million people in the mall were cheering. It was a sensation. And afterwards, she even thanked me, which was good. Okay, so cut to four years later, and we're doing another inauguration. And they call up Miss Battle, and she says, um, they said to her, well, we'd like you to do the thing, the, the inauguration again. And they said, well, we'll get, you know, Glenn Rogan to do the arrangement. And she said, absolutely not. I don't want him, absolutely not. Never, I don't want him. And it was very disheartening to me, because, you know, I heard that and I said, oh, well, we'll get someone else. And she kept saying, no, I want the guy who did the first arrangement, the guy who did it with Kenny G. And then they said, oh, that's Glenn Rovin. And they said, oh, that's okay. Right.